Hi, welcome to the AutoBid Mechanical 2020 What's New video for the general company settings. Now let's go ahead and open up AutoBid. Now one of the changes that you're going to see here is it is now required to have a Trimble ID, also known as a TID, for logging into the Trimble MEP products. Eventually all the products will be using this TID. So in AutoBid Mechanical here, I'm going to put in my Trimble ID. And my password. Now don't worry if you don't have a Trimble ID already. There is a link on the screen where you can go create your own new Trimble ID. And then once you've been using it for a while, if you happen to forget the password, you can click on this forget password fill in your email address, and it will send you links to reset your password. Now that we're in Autobid Mechanical, we're going to take a look at another area where that TID comes into effect. So this happens under the tools and your preferences. So once we get into my preferences, down here towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see an option about skipping the login for TID. Now the way that TID works is when you log in, it is good for 12 hours, unless you close the program, and then you'll be required to log in again. If you check this box off here, that login will remain for 12 hours, even if you do close any one of the AutoBid programs. The next thing we're going to look at is some master settings and the employee list. So I've opened up my, my employee list and I'm going to select my login and check the security settings. So here you can see that you put the TID in for each of your employees. Now, if you need to access the management license portal, there's a link for it right here. Also remember, when you're setting this up, always make sure someone can set security. Another area that's changed is accessing the MCA labor books. If you take a look here, um, and I tried to access the labor books, I've gotten this warning that I'll need to contact MCAA for an access token. Now this is a change and how you access the MCAA tables for you WebLem users. If I go take a look under the master settings and the general company settings, you can see down here, there is now a place to put in the MCAA labor token. So you would contact the organization and they would give you a labor token if you're, if you're a WebLem member and you have access to the MCAA tables. MCAA is now controlling access to this, and they provide the key token to get in. Once you have it in there, you will be required to renew this every 90 days. Also, if you take a look at this checkbox, it could be turned on and off. If you're not an MCAA member and you don't want to see that warning about needing a token every time you go to access the labor tables, you can go ahead and select this option in that warning will be suppressed. Now, taking a look on the options tab, we're going to see another feature that's going to make things easier for you. We're going to be able to generate a four digit year and bid count ID automatically for new bids. So let's see how that works. So in here, I'm going to create a new project. And if you take a look on the screen, as I'm typing in the name of the project, you will see the software has automatically created a bid ID and a project ID for this project. It's based on the year and then follows with the suffix of the number of the bid. So that makes it a little easier and you can see it also on this screen here. Moving along, we're going to take a look at another company setting. And this time we're going to look at the options 
And here is a big change for us. In the past, we've allowed companies, if they'd like to use a service to store their OSV drawings on a cloud. That service is going away December 15th, 2020. So if you're using that service, you're going to have to take those drawings off the cloud. We, we have come up with a new tool for this. It's a drawing repository. So I'm going to set this up on my local machine here. So here I am going to create this repository. And this is going to be the location that the OSV drawings are stored once I import them into my project. Okay, so I'll browse to a location. Now, normally you would probably browse to a map network drive or someplace on your own cloud uh, storage. And I'm just going to put mine actually in the documents area. Okay. And so now you can see I've got a location for the drawings to be stored. Once I return to the company settings screen, I'm going to have to select the checkbox to store OSV drawings in this new repository. And then I'll use the pull down pick list to pick that location. Thank you for watching this What's New video for Autobit Mechanical. Be sure to check out our other videos for What's New in Takeoff. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.